got some upgrades to do to a, a scamper camper gecko. So first, first we look gas bottles. I don't know that you need two gas bottles, so we're going to remove gas bottle. We're going to remove the um, jerry can holders as well. We are going to wire up or hook up the gas, um, so it's actually get a gas certificate and all that, so we get it hard gassed up. Ultimately, because when you come and look at the um, we're going to take that socket out at the top there and we're going to put a fitting like this but an approved gas fitting um, in there so we can just plug the gas in for the cooktop which is in behind there that's a, a mod that we're going to do um, big mod that, that a lot of people do um, mention with these obviously you've got a big fridge big fridge capacity um, we have done a, a rail already that ties the wiring. We're going to look at getting a bigger one because the wiring doesn't fit in it. But the big thing is that it was just a normal cigarette lighter socket and we've upgraded it to an ingle style which you can screw in. Um, but yes, I'm about to pull it apart so the mods we've got to do. The big mod with these is the wiring to the fridge is very, very small. So in underneath this box, which we're going to remove, is um, very, very small wires. Now the big difference, this fridge freezer combo um, from Snowmaster, it basically, maximum, their rating is maximum 5 amps, thereabouts. Now, we've measured the wiring at the plug um, inside of the switch. So we've had all this unit apart and we measured it like look at the wiring we've actually up done some upgrades to the wires here already the wires there were very very small like about that size um, so we've upgraded from that to that as you can see the massive difference there um, ultimately we've only got a 50 amp breaker there so we've just got to take that into consideration when we're loading up now this is the wire to the fridge and it's running all that way. If we measure the amp resistance on that when the fridge is running, it's nearly eight amps. Um, so you, you're pulling a lot of power through that little cable. So we're gonna actually nick that off and we're gonna upgrade it. So we're looking at upgrading it to something like this. I know it's a bit of overkill, but at the end of the day, um, if you've got that being loaded up, um, the fridge is pulling five amps and that's pulling 4.5 amps off the battery. Um, but that's pulling seven amps out of the switch. So we know that the voltage drop here So from here to the fridge is massive. So we're going to upgrade that um, In our further we're going to get rid of these two batteries And we'll be chucking in a 280 amp lithium battery pack um, That we manufacture and obviously DC to DC charger as well um, and we're going to put a external um, power socket on the side of the van so we can plug that into mains power if we need and also solar panel upgrade as well so stay tuned more to come